Political analysts are interpreting China's resumption of ties with former Taiwan ally Gambia as directed at independence-leaning president-elect Tsai Ing-wen. However, DPP lawmakers held the opinion that China was trying to humiliate President Ma for his foreign policies. But the KMT responded that the DPP was resorting to blaming Ma rather than making preparations for a plan to respond to China's provocations. China has decided while President Ma is abroad on a state visit to resume diplomatic ties with Gambia. So basically, isn't this about embarrassing Ma? The DPP blamed the development on Ma's foreign policy, but the KMT Legislative Caucus, not to be outdone, launched a counterattack. Rather than continue to constantly criticize Ma ying it would be good to think over in the coming month what type of cross-strait policy we should have in response. With the new government about to take office and President-elect Tsai Ing-wen still refusing to accept the 1992 consensus, if China launches a diplomatic war, how should Taiwan respond? In the past, China's demands have moved from one China being the bottom line to the 1992 consensus, to the so-called constitutional explanation that Taiwan must recognise it is part of China as it is in its constitution. I think they all have a certain degree of ambiguity and that there is room for flexibility. So Taiwan can only do its utmost to find a formula in this ambiguous space that we can accept and the other side can also tolerate. With China clamping down on its one China principle, the challenges Tsai will face include maintaining the development of cross-strait relations and fighting to maintain Taiwan's diplomatic space. It will not be easy for her to find the right balance.